Filaria are protozoal red blood cell parasites spread by ticks. Cattle on the north coast are exposed early in life and develop immunity without developing clinical signs in most cases. The Tolaria we see in Australia belong to the Orientalis group. It's important that we distinguish these species from the far more serious species seen overseas that cause tropical Tolariosis and east coast fever. We do not have those species in Australia. On the north coast, the bush tick is the main vector though other species of tick and other biting insects may also be involved. On the north coast, we see clinical disease in two distinct situations. Firstly, in young homebred calves from around about one month to three months of age. And secondly, in adult cattle introduced to the region from areas where the parasite's not present. Clinical signs are associated with an anemia due to damage to red blood cells and include lethargy, exercise intolerance, abortion or stillbirth in pregnant animals and ultimately death. Affected cattle often have a fever and will have pale and often yellow membranes. The disease can be confirmed through blood sampling which indicates the presence of anemia and also the presence of the protozoa in the blood. Treatment options are limited and affected animals often respond poorly to treatment. Veterinarians have tried numerous different treatments with varying degrees of success. Blood transfusions may be an option in valuable animals. As the response to treatment is often poor, we would make the following recommendations. The risk of moving cattle from areas where the disease is not seen to here on the coast is quite high. Losses can be particularly high in heavily pregnant animals and movement of such animals should be avoided where possible. Clinical signs are usually seen in introduced animals between about six and 12 weeks following introduction and animals should be monitored closely during this period. If you have introduced stock from outside the area, these animals should be managed carefully to minimise other stress factors. Use of products to minimise tick numbers may assist but is unlikely to completely control the disease. In local herds, calves should be closely monitored between 6 and 12 weeks of age. If you do see any animals with clinical signs, seek veterinary advice early and handle any affected animals with care as mustering stock can worsen clinical signs. For more information on Tyleria, contact your nearest local land service office.